Welcome to How's Your Walnut. This is episode four, and that is fixing your walnut. So how do we know, first of all, there's something for us to pay attention to when it comes to our prostate. And, and notice I didn't say worry about, right. but something that needs attention. Yeah, so once again, a lot of things can happen with the prostate. Um, you know, the prostate can enlarge, that's our focus, benign prostate hyperplasia. Um, and of course, a review of some of the symptoms is frequent, urgent urination, uh, certainly at night, you know, reminding you waking up, it's the bladder that hasn't fill, fully uh, voided uh, because the walnut or the uh, the prostate squeezing on the urethra, which is the tube that allows you to evacuate your bladder. Um, there's hesitancy starting the urination, sometimes even a forked stream uh, dribbling. One of the first signs you might notice is actually, you know, you think you've gone to the washroom and then uh, you've left the washroom as a guy and, oh, there's a little bit of uh, urine that's come to say hello. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, you know, hasn't quite fully, you know, voided or evacuated your bladder. That's one of the first signs you might want to get in and see your doctor. Um, so that increased urination frequency at night. But then a lot of what's not talked about is, uh, is sexual dysfunction. So loss of uh, libido erectile dysfunction or an inability to feel like as if you've had a full, uh, you know, uh, emission of ejaculate. That's also a sign of prostate. Now the prostate can enlarge and swell. This is called prostatitis. That's not really the focus of the, of the talk uh, that we're having today. Um, and you can have prostate cancer. We have to get all over that. You know, after uh, 80 years old, you know, um, many of us will experience a diagnosis uh, of prostate cancer. Um, but um, prostate hypertrophy or your enlarged walnut uh, there's solutions for this. We talked a little bit about uh, exercise, of course. We talked about nutrition. There is very good evidence within the realm of herbal remedies. Um, this is, again, you know, tier one evidence uh, that actually not only shows prevention, but also treatment mm -hmm. of BPH, benign prostate hyperplasia. Uh, so this is really important news. Um, we're talking about clinically proven uh, to prevent and treat using uh, natural medicine. Um, and it's the only product on the market that I know of uh, proven to work on the sexual symptoms at Kev one capsule a day, right? So this is called prostate one. Mm -hmm. um, you and I, at the age we're at now, we, we can start this in, the, in toward a prevention routine. Mm -hmm. This is saw palmetto at its best. Um, only one capsule a day needed. It's made from organically grown saw palmetto by a company called A. Vogel. And we're talking about it because it's evidence-based. That's the only stuff that, you know, you know, you and I will really rap about. Um, I want to read you a trial if I can. Yeah, uh, and so facts science. matter. Did you know, th 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 this is something we really have to, to emphasize is yep. that this isn't just some fly-by-night company and this not not just some some herbal remedy that, you know, a snake oil salesman might have sold years ago. This Very true. Is no, there's a lot on the proven. there's a lot on the market that is. In fact, one of the differentiating factors before I get into some of the research, um, there's a lot of saw palmetto products on the market. What what really makes this stand alone is it's made from fresh herb. And it's really the fatty acids, which is why it's in a capsule form here, by the way. It's in a gel cap. Uh, if I burst that open, it's uh, it's a liquid. Mm -hmm. And the fatty acid concentration, which is extrapolated fresh at pretty, you know, uh, uh, optimal temperatures and encapsulated right away within a very short period of time, keeps it stable. Uh, and fresh is key. So a lot of the herbal products on the market are dried. They've been sitting around for a long period of time. They don't contain the, the fatty acid saturation that you would need in order to actually see uh, the reduction. And again, I'm going to bring this long term up, but uh, the five alpha reductase enzyme, that's the ability from testosterone to go into dihydrotestosterone. We want to manage that enzyme the activity and slow down the manufacturing of DHT. This is how a lot of the other medical, uh, conventional medical drugs work, uh, but all natural. Okay? And, and, and this is, there are going to be times you need drugs. You know, it, it, we, we, of course. You know, we don't want to say never have drugs. Uh, you know, they are important yeah. uh, when, when administered properly. Um, but the difference between this, an herbal remedy, a, a, a supplement, is that it's not going to work in four to six hours. It's not going to work in four to six hours, but here's the deal, as opposed to the conversation we had earlier around nutrition. Mm -hmm. 
Um, that's going to take a long time and it takes the body some major reforming to do to get the prostate, you know, shrunk and under control. Um, it's not quite as fast as a drug, but guess what? It will work very, very quickly within days, within days to weeks, because it's working on a very similar pathway. Mm -hmm. But the benefit to an herbal remedy is that it has other mechanisms of action. It supports from all kinds of different angles, uh, as an antioxidant would support, um, a, m a number of other ingredients in here, naturally occurring phytosterols, uh, you know, that, that will actually help to shrink the prostate and make the prostate healthier as well. So it's, it's not a single mechanism driven by a single ingredient of a drug. You're getting a plethora of, of different actions out of a natural uh, ingredient. And like we brought up in the last episode, you're helping your prostate. Yeah. But at the same time, you're helping your heart. Yeah. You're helping your brain. Yep. You're helping all, all sorts That's of That's a very important point. Yeah, exactly. You know, so saw palmetto is, you know, main focus and, um, uh, and action is going to be with the prostate. In this case, it's going to help with uh, urethral flow. You'll get an improved uh, flow. Uh, but it also, and this is the only one, again, I mentioned, it's the only one that I know of that also works on sexual function. Mm -hmm. So it's going to improve uh, the overall libido and feeling of uh, full uh, ejaculation and even erectile dysfunction. So, <clears throat> so this is an open uh, multi-center clinical pilot that was conducted to determine whether prostate one, this is this product here, could influence symptoms of BPH or the benign prostatic hyperplasia um, or sexual dysfunction. Uh, and this is because saw palmetto acts on that 5-alpha reductase I was telling you about. Uh, as an inhibitor, uh, like the commonly prescribed medications, you know, uh, uh, finasteride's one and uh, dutasteride's another. And they inhibit this 5-alpha reductase, and that's the science behind it, preventing that conversion into, into DHT. But over the course, uh, I've been reading from the trial here, over the course of the eight-week trial, 82 participants that were diagnosed with BPH, uh, they were recruited through urological medical practices. They took one 320 milligram, that's this guy right here, one capsule of prostate, one daily, and they saw their symptoms improve dramatically. Um, their international prostate scores, by the way, were also taken. Uh, this is a symptom score, and they improved them by 51%. Uh, across the board, while their ability to get and keep an erection um, improved by 64%, and that was measured by this uh, brief sexual function inventory. So research shows this because prostate one inhibits this epidermal growth factor, um, which is that enlargement factor and blocks that virulent form of DHT. So, so, so what we're seeing once again is you know one capsule a day of a natural ingredient that literally will. I, I save it to say, not drug, but drug-like cause a shrinkage, uh, which is what you want, of the prostate. It's, it's, it's actually quite incredible, you know? If medical intervention is needed, I mean, if, if there's some sort of invasive surgery that is needed, what are we looking at? What, what happens? What, Rotor router? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty yeah, much. Rotor router? Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah, I mean, there are medical treatments uh, pretty well established, and those are in severe cases. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to talk to your doctor, your urologist about this, and that would be a referral from your family medical doctor if it's really that far. I mean, what we're concerned about, obviously, is if there is no urinary flow, that urethra we talked about, and it's so backed up uh, that in this case, you know, urine is just filling the bladder, you could get regurgitation up the ureters into the kidneys. I mean, this is a big problem. If you can't expel uh, urine, um, then we're talking a disaster, we're talking about kidney failure, we're talking about infection, et cetera. So, so some cases the, the, rotor, the, the router is necessary, <laughs> um, but, and this is the point. So when we're talking about natural medicine and interventions that include diet, lifestyle, exercise, and in this case, prostate one, this is that saw palmetto formula we're talking about right now, you can, there's no reason as a 50-year-old male to reiterate some of the st statistics. You know, as, as now I'm approaching my 50s, uh, you're in yours, and uh, at the end of the day, why wait until there's a problem? Why wait until you're symptomatic mm -hmm. when you can start something so natural now? 60% of us in our 50s are going to have BPH. Into our 70s, uh, way more, 70, 80% of us are going to have BPH. So mm -hmm. why not deal with it now with everything that we possibly can? And, and so now, how often do you have to take this? One once a day. One once a day. Any one, particular time of day? Should you eat it nope, with food? Have that, it with food? One once a day, you time it. Set it and forget Like Put it in your uh, morning routine. It's, the, it's that effective, that powerful, um, and all natural. Yeah. 
And yeah, it starts with that one step, that first step. Yeah. Talk to your doctor. And should you talk to your doctor before taking something like I this? Do, I do recommend talking to your doctor or pharmacist before you start any version mm -hmm. of a supplement or a natural medicine. I mean, this has very potent effects. Um, you know, taking this along with your prostate medications probably significantly overkill. So it's kind of be like one mm -hmm. or the other. And the science is there. So bringing that science to your family doctor and showing him or her that this is actually a, a natural yeah. alternative. And, and those people, again, my biggest, um, uh, I think my biggest recommendation is for folks, guys, and even uh, you know, the females out there listening on behalf of their significant other, brother, fam, uh, dog, uh, uh, brother, uh, father, or, or significant other, is t uh, to start before you have symptoms. Yeah. You can include this as part of, like along with your multi and your omega-3 uh, after the age of 50. No reason why not. With the statistics as they are, with so many of us experiencing, put it this way, Kev, it's the number one you know, worldwide phenomenon medically that will that will affect us guys. Like we will ultimately get this statistically in our lifetime, we will have BPH. So why not start a measurable routine with evidence and safety behind it to be now? I and mean, you also mentioned the pharmacist. We, we discount pharmacists all the time. Yeah. We say, I have to talk to my doctor, I have to talk to my doctor. Pharmacists in many, many cases know a lot more than doctors especially about stuff like this. Especially with, uh, you know, and they can pull up your medical record right in front of you with all the medication you might be taking. Um, because, you know, there are some, there are few, but there are some instances where uh, prostate one would be contraindicated with some other things that you might be taking. So very good point. And that's, and that's with any supplement. Any, any you supplement, shouldn't be just taking it willy-nilly with other medications. Yep, you got it. Absolutely. Right. Well, we encourage you to check out AVO. We encourage you to talk to your doctor. We encourage you uh, to get all the facts. If you haven't watched episodes one, two, and three, encourage you to watch that as well. A lot of tips and tricks in there, keeping a healthy walnut.